So we've got a problem here. We're going to rotate this triangle ABC and according to the instructions, we're going to rotate it 270 degrees clockwise. So first thing to realize is that clockwise, of course, is going this way from left to right, like a, the hands of a clock. So we're going to rotate it 90, 180 and then 270. Now, there's two ways to do this. Uh, one, you could go clockwise 270, right, which is uh, 90 degrees, right, three times. So 90, 180, 270 clockwise. The other way to do this, which is just as good, in fact, it's a little bit quicker in a way, is that you just go 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Because if I was to go one more 90 degrees, so 90 degrees, right, times four, well, that would be 360. So I'm one 90 degree turn away from going all the way around to where I started from. So I either go 270 clockwise or 90 anti-clockwise. But I'm going to go all the way clockwise. First thing I need is I need some tracing paper. Okay, and what I need to do with my tracing paper is to create uh, the axes, because that will make my job uh, a lot easier. And I'm just gonna do that by hand really quick. It doesn't need to be fancy. So here, here is important, and here. And then I'll do the crosshairs here at zero, zero. And do another one there, and do another one there. Okay, so that's all I really need. So what I've got now is I've got this. Okay, so this gives me 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So I'll put this on here, and line all these up. There we go. So it's perfectly lined up with the axes underneath. And then I'm just gonna plot each point. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Okay, now I'm going to rotate 90, uh, 270 degrees. So it'll be when this one, if it goes to here, when I rotate it round, gets to here, that's 90. If this comes all the way around to here, that's 180. And this comes all the way around to here, that's 270. So I'm just going to make a little special marker that this is the one where I start. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to rotate it round. Remember, I'm going clockwise. So I've just rotated it. You can see I've rotated it 90 degrees. I'm going to rotate it again. Remember, I'm watching this one, watching this dash. That's my starting point. So rotate it around. I've now done 180. It's now here. So I need to get to this point to go to 270. So I rotate it around and just line everything up perfectly because this is the important one. Okay, now I've rotated 270 degrees. It's up to here now. So I started here, got to here, got to here, went to here. So that is three 90 degree turns. And now all I have to do is just take note of where B, A, and C is. And because it's tracing paper, I can actually see through it and get the coordinates. So B, I'm gonna write it here. B is minus one, minus one. Okay, C, it's over here. So if I look very carefully, I see it's two minus three. So C is two minus three. And A is way over here. I can look through the tracing paper. It's minus five minus four. So A is minus five minus four. Okay, so now all I have to do, now that I have the coordinates of the image, so this is like the image of B, the image of C, and the image of A. I just have to plot them onto the four quadrant grid. So minus one minus one remember that was b dash uh c dash was two minus three so two minus three is here that's going to be where c dash is and a dash is going to be minus five minus four so minus five all the way over here to minus four okay so i'm going to label these so this is uh, b dash this is c dash and this one here is a dash and now all I have to do, join those guys up. So join them up as carefully and as accurately as I can. One, two, three, finished.